This film will demonstrate how to correctly position a dog for radiography, as required for BVA, KC hip and elbow canine health schemes. There are some useful positioning aids that will facilitate accurate positioning. A radiolucent foam mattress for the x-ray table, the foam, should be covered in an easily cleaned and disinfectable material, such as polythene, which is disposable. Radiolucent foam positioning shapes, cling film or more permanent waterproof covers, can be used for ease of cleaning. Ties and tape, floppy sandbags, left and right markers. To achieve accurate positioning and to comply with important safety legislation, all dogs will have to be anaesthetised or deeply sedated. For the ED scheme, mediolateral views of both elbows are required, one with the elbow in a neutral position and the other with the elbow flexed. For elbow radiography, a grid should not be used. The elbow should be placed directly on the detector or cassette. The contralateral thoracic limb needs to be retracted over the dog's thorax using ties or floppy sandbags. When the elbow is flexed, there is a tendency for rotation so elevating the carpus with a foam wedge will prevent this from happening. It can also be weighted down with a floppy sandbag. It is important to make sure the sternum is not superimposed on the elbow. A left-right marker should be placed close to the elbow. For the flexed view, the joint should be flexed between 35 and 45 degrees. Hyperflexion is likely to cause rotation of the elbow. The centering point for the beam is the epicondyles of the elbow, which can be palpated. With the light beam centered on the medial epicondyle, it can then be collimated to the elbow joint. For the extended or neutral lateral view, the carpus can be weighted down with a floppy sandbag. A foam wedge may need to be inserted under the carpus or foot to prevent rotation. For the neutral or extended view, the elbow joint should be at 110 degrees. The centering of the light beam is once again on the medial epicondyle and should be collimated to the elbow joint. Finally, here are some examples of common errors.